I'm going to show you now how to do um, a basic Wi-Fi analysis to find out well, what other networks are uh, is your Wi-Fi network competing with. Now I'm using a tool on the Mac called Wi-Fi Explorer Lite. It's free. You can get it yourself. There's plenty of alternatives uh, on Windows, similar kind of products. So um, have a have a Google for free Wi-Fi an analyzer, and you will find plenty of options. So if I just press the start button, we'll, uh, the process will begin and um, it will start scanning all the different Wi-Fi networks in my area. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of them, um, particularly as there's only about, in my line of sight, what I can see, I can see one, two, three, four houses. Obviously, I've got my neighbors five, six, me, seven. So, you know, from what I can see, there's only about seven networks around, and yet, actually, there seem to be significantly more than that. As it happens, my Wi-Fi network, if I just sort these by signal strength, might be more interesting, um, my network is this one, this Virgin Media one here. And um, you can see that it's um, it's not by any means the most uh, significant one in the area, which is quite surprising given that it's actually in the house. Uh, so I need to find out quite why is it not performing as well as my neighbor's talk talk network. Um, but let's have a look at, uh, at, our, at our map here because this is probably the most interesting thing. Now this shows what networks are running on different frequencies. And as you can see, I'm running a network on uh, frequency 11. And if I just again sort by channel and I select all of those that are in 11, you can see that I'm actually sharing channel 11 with a lot of other networks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, now admittedly, you know, many of those have quite low strength, but that's still going to create some congestion because the those uh, wireless access points are all having to sort of time share the same channel. Um, interestingly, in this area, probably channel six would be a, a possibly a better option. Um, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven networks showing on channel six, and actually only one, two, three, four, five, six showing also for channel one. However, one of those is very, very, very strong indeed. So if I wanted to possibly improve my, my own Wi-Fi performance, one of the things I could do um, is decide, well, why don't I take um, a space on a different network where perhaps there's less congestion? Um, not, sorry, a different network on a different channel. Why don't I move, go into my, into my settings for my access point and change it and say, rather than using channel 11, use channel 6. What's really good is that there's no networks broadcasting on two, three, four, or any of the overlapping channels here. And that's a really important thing because that means that we're not getting that kind of crossover channel interference. But to be honest, most um, wireless access points now will be configured just to use channels one, six, and 11 anyway. So you'd be very unlikely to get anything um, showing in those crossover channels. Now here we've got the five gigahertz bands. And as you can see, they are far less congested. Um, again, if I were to change, if I sort by band, um, I've actually only got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, wireless networks that are even operating on the five gigahertz band. Uh, but weirdly, perhaps, is that given there's so much potential for different um, channels within um, those bands, four of them are using the same channel, which seems a little bit silly given that there's a, a reasonable spread here of other channels they could use. My access point is dual band, so it has a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz um, transmission. So actually, on my 5 gigahertz um, band, uh, I have absolutely no congestion at all. I've kind of got that all to myself. Although you'll notice that the signal strength is quite low. It's 48% compared to 67% um, for the 2.4 gigahertz. Now that's because 5 gigahertz um, bands, they are higher energy, they're higher frequency. They, get, they don't travel as well through floors, walls, ceilings, things like that. So um, although it's uncongested, it's actually a poorer um, overall signal. So it's quite interesting to, like I say, to do an analysis and see what other things you've got in your area because it definitely gives you um, a good sense of, well, just how much stuff is out there in the same area as my computer or my network. And this is a really useful thing to do if you are getting poor connections because you can see, well, hang on, look, I've got loads and loads and loads of neighbors and other devices are all using the same channel that I'm trying to use. No wonder I've got poor performance. If you can then identify uh, a channel which is less congested, move your wireless access point onto using that channel, you should get 
better reception. And you might also decide by doing an analysis like this, it's worth switching over to the 5 gigahertz band instead of the 2.4 gigahertz band. So there's just a little exploration of um, how to do a basic analysis of local Wi-Fi um, from your own computer.